Hi. You may have noticed that um, I've put on a little bit of weight. I'm sure none of you um, have noticed. I'm trying desperately again, but I'll not bore you uh, with that. But when the team suggested that I maybe get someone to teach me how to cook, I say, I only want the best. And they've done just that. So, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the best home cook, have a look at this. Oh, wow. Chicken will go nicely on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Susie Arbuthnot. Hello, Susie. Hi there. Lovely to meet you. Good to see you. Good, Good to, to see you. you. So you're going you're gonna to teach me how to cook what, yep. Susie? We are going to make a simple chicken noodle stir fry. And I do apologise in advance. It is Ash Wednesday, so you don't have to cook with okay. chicken. You don't want to today. Now, the one thing that runs in the <laughs> Nolan family, my, my mother, Big Audrey's here tonight. Can't You, you, burn, you burn everything, Mum, don't you? <gasps> Absolutely don't everything. Look, look, don't look. be saying that now. Oh, you see, the fist is up. The she fist, got fist is up. up. She got Not fist good. Up. So the Nolans can't really, can't really cook too well, but, but maybe you can, you can help me. Right. What are we going to... So we are with a good selection of vegetables, so I'm hoping you're going to start your health kick with yes. lots of vegetables, yes? Yes. Uh, so we're just frying off some onions, and these are all local, well, all ingredients you can get in your local store. I'm just worried Audrey's going to... She's raging. She's going to kill me. She's not going <laughs> to kill you. She's not going to kill you. She can come up here if she wants. Um, so we're just going to fry off some onions, and I've pre-cooked the chicken because uh, we just needed to speed up the whole process. So where did you learn how to cook? I learned from my mum. So from a very young age, uh, we own a takeaway in Lisburn, and I literally followed after. So from the age of seven, when I could hold a knife, I was chopping onions, carrots, and peeling um, butter, just really random things, and just working my way up. And then once I could see over the counter of the takeaway, I was promoted so I could serve customers. So I was really excited about that. But I was always there in the background following mum and I just learned all my basics from her. And then obviously I went through school and um, did HE. So from then I just really enjoyed it. And at GCSE year, I applied for, well, I'd written out all the applications for cookery schools in London. Mum said that I, if I wanted to do that, I could after my GCSEs. And listen, I'm, I'm really intrigued with the Best Home Cook series because getting to meet Mary Berry and all that. Yep. Mary Beardy, Mary Berry. Yeah. Uh, and all that. Malarkey. What was she like? She was fabulous. Such a lady. Really, really lovely and really knew her stuff. So she could look at your bench and sort of go, hmm. And then she'd be asking you, what method you're going to do? And you're kind of like, this method and then she'll give you an eye kind of look and you're like uh is that right and then she'll just walk away so you weren't sure whether you're doing it right or not um but she was a lovely lady what are you doing now? so just stir frying all the vegetables um and then getting slightly sauteed okay letting them capture this. Cucumbers bulk? No, it's not cucumbers, it's courgettes. Courgettes. They're good for you. I don't even know where they are, for goodness sake. Well, it'll be good for you. You were in March, that series, and you weren't allowed to say anything. Yeah, and as you can tell, I talk a lot, so I don't know how I kept it a secret either. <laughs> What's it mean for you, winning that? Um, it means a lot. It's a dream come true. So, as I said, I never actually got to go to the cookery schools in London because my mum passed away in my GCSE year. So, yeah, life changed for me. It was, uh, it, it just, everything changed. So, my look in life just was different then. Is that cheese you're throwing in there? Absolutely. No way. It's ginger. So, I've got ginger, ginger garlic and chilli. So, Did just... say the chicken's pre-cooked? Pre-cooked, yep. Eat away. So that's already pre-marinated in um, oyster sauce, soy sauce. No, you can't eat all of that yet. Stop that chicken's that lovely. Part. Do I have an eaten all day? Like, save some for it. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is a dream come true because I've always wanted to do it and I ended up going through getting all my education and degree and then I became an accountant, not very excited. You're eh? still an accountant, right? I am still an accountant. You're, 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 you're trying to spin both fists at one time? Absolutely. Got a client to go to in the morning, so... What's yeah. the dream? What's the dream? Um, would love to have a book. Would love to maybe get back on TV again. Or I just... This, I, I've really enjoyed it. It's, Once you win a, a, a big series like that, presumably that stimulates so much interest, right? Uh, yeah, no, I think, oh, yeah, yes, it has, and like I do have an agent now. That soy sauce I've just put in there. Um, I don't know if I want the vegetables because the chicken. No, you need the vegetables. It's good for you. Okay, stop. 
Stop. Thank you. Okay, nearly done. But mm. two, two, three okay. more minutes, and we're nearly done. Can you cook with any ingredients or what? <laughs> um, I try to. I love the ruffle up. That was the second challenge in each episode. So I say that looks beautiful. <laughs> and it really does. See, my problem, if I was cooking this, is I'd be wanting to. I'd be eating it while I was cooking it. Just wait. Delay gratification and all that. I'm going to bring that up to that desk during the next debate. No problem. Either yeah, way. So yeah, we're only a couple of minutes away then. Apparently they apparently they've taken a, a photograph of the way of my fridge. Oh, at home. really? Have a look at this, Susie. Interesting. That's genuinely my fridge. So bottles of water. Yeah. Uh, oh. A couple of chocolate biscuits, two cream buns, <laughs> cooked ham. That's it. Okay, so we could rustle up some ice what cubes. What could you rustle up with that? Ice cubes, right? Um, scrape out the cream of the buns, crush up the biscuits, mix that in so it's a dessert. Excuse me. Um, and then put your ham into your bread mm. and then have a drink of milk, something like that. So many people are, are, are getting interested in cooking now, but once you get to, to... What am I now? I'm 46 now. Like, can you really learn from scratch? Absolutely. Like, I mean, that wasn't exactly difficult, just chop veg. It's just the order of things, putting it in and just waiting, you know, and not rushing things and just being confident with what you have in your house or your fridge. But we might need to improve on that just a wee bit. Did you say you have a, a, a restaurant here? Yes, just a family takeaway, dad's takeaway in Balmacash, and this one called The Manly. So, yes, that's still going strong. We've been there since 1980. How did the locals react? Uh, it was quite funny. Actually, I, I went, I, I got a takeaway at the weekend, so when I walked in, it was quite funny. The reaction was very much... <gasps> oh, so you're giving yourself a tiddly bit of chicken? I had to taste it, just to make sure. Right, so we're going to serve it up. Come on, Absolutely. Sarah. Come on. Okay, not in that bowl. Not in that bowl. There's a presentation bowl. Oh, right, okay. Okay. One I prepared earlier. It looks delicious and so healthy as well. Look at that. Get your five a day in here, no problem. That is lovely. Okay, and then... Come on, Susie, if it's for me, oh. book it in there, for goodness sake. Okay. <laughs> and you get family of three being fed in one plate. Family of three from that. Yeah, absolutely. Just wait, and then we want to go with... Wait, wait, wait. No! <laughs> It's very Bernie. Of course it's Bernie. Straight off the hob. That looks beautiful, actually. Many calories would be in that. There's a the question. I don't know, but there's lots of vegetables and you need carbs anyway and you need meat and protein, so you're fine. So you might just eat it. <laughs> Give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. But I know you really do like your sweet stuff. So, I really do. So this is, is a, a sticky toffee cake oh. with the cream cheese frosting and toasted almonds. This, so this was the winning dessert, one of the winning desserts at the final, but just made into a large cake. Oh, that's fantastic. Do you know who I'm going to give that to? Yourself. I'm going to give that to my mother, Big Audrey, who's Excellent. here tonight. Where are you? <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much. All right, I bought that specially for you. Ah, you did. <laughs> made it, made it, made it myself. Where's my kiss? Where's my kiss? <laughs> thank you. Right, give Susan another applause. Thank you very much, me. Thank you. Right.